Hey everybody! Welcome back to the channel! Recently, a bunch of subscribers have been asking me to check in on the price action of Cardia Chain. The question is, is Cardia Chain getting ready to join the alt party with some significant upside? I'm going to pull up this chart and show you what I'm looking at. Cardia Chain up on the daily chart. Starting off the analysis by toggling into the price action, I see that Cardia Chain is making a legitimate attempt to the upside. I see that recently Cardia Chain has managed to start closing daily candle bodies above this purple liquid zone here that has a bottom side coming in at 0.029 cents and a top side coming in around 0.03 cents. I see that uh, Cardia Chain got that daily candle body closure right here that was accompanied by nice strong volume down below, getting above the moving average as well as being quite significant to a lot of the volume that came before it. However, I do see a pretty nasty wick to the downside which is showing me that sellers are definitely present up at this horizontal here around 0.036 cents however cardia chain's been able to continue to close daily candle bodies above this purple liquid zone which looks to me that cardia chain's looking to confirm that as future support so the form of resistance becoming future support so overall a good look for cardia chain i see all the major notable moving averages are beginning to be postured quite nicely here all the lower periods living above the higher periods beginning to fan away from each other with fairly aggressive slopes to the upside another good point on the board for the bulls what i'd like to see cardia chain do is start closing daily candle bodies above this horizontal here coming in at 0.036 cents and i then i would be looking for a test of this liquid zone up here this liquid zone is quite large it has a bottom side coming in at 0.043 cents and a top side coming in at 0.049 cents over time if cardia chain starts closing daily candle bodies above the bottom side of this liquid zone it'll likely test the top side in fairly short order getting daily candle body closures above the top side of this liquid zone confirming this as former resistance into future support then i think that's when we can be looking for cardia chain to make some big moves to the upside and of course that's going to be a bit dependent on the trajectory of bitcoin as well as the top 10 altcoins as long as they can stay sideways and up over time i do believe that the rotations of the money flow will work its way into cardia chain over time to me it's looking right now that we need a little bit of patience still with cardia chain but it, it is really tough to put a timeline on things i mean cardia chain could make some moves in very short order but just based on where the moving averages are living right now, you know, they're going to be rising fairly quickly, but I'd like to see them, you know, the 10, 21 start getting above this purple box zone here. And then I think that when those moving averages come into contact with the price action, then it becomes very probable that it'll, it'll push it to the upside. Can Cardia chain begin to move before then? Absolutely. It can. Absolutely. Uh, dropping down on the uh, RSI here. RSI is looking good. I mean, it's back in the bullish control zone. The exponential moving average is pretty aggressively sloped to the upside. At the time of recording, the RSI is pointed down towards the edge of the bullish control zone and uh, will likely test it in the ne next couple ticks. Now, it is also notable that whenever an asset tests the bearish control zone, like the RSI did right here, or it gets back inside it, it's pretty common to see the price that the RSI get back up to the to the. Usually, it's the edge of the bullish control zone, but it can dip its toes in there, and it's usually rejected on first pass. And you can see that right here you see cardia chain got in started flirting with the bearish control zone comes up hits the bullish control zone gets rejected from it on first pass but then on the second time it gets well within the bullish control zone so it's fairly normal behavior to see that so probability tells me that it's likely that the rsi is going to test at least the edge of that, that bullish control zone but perhaps it comes down and it tests the uh the exponential moving average which i wouldn't have any problem with that that could that could indicate some down uh some downside price action maybe over the next few days while cardia chain does that but it doesn't necessarily have to do that remember we're just looking at a statistical probability here there's always possibilities as well but the moral of the story is here is that i'm not alarmed if the rsi gets out of the bullish control zone however if the bulls step in sooner than later and begin to push cardia chain to the upside then i like how the rsi has plenty of room to run which signals to me that the bulls have have plenty of ammunition in their war chest if and when they're ready to push cardia chain to the upside dropping down to the stochastics they are uh, momentum down angled to the downside here and uh, what this is overall telling me is that patience are probably necessary. Uh, it, this isn't signaling to me that Cardi Chain is likely to make a big nosedive. Of course, anything's possible. But what this does tell me is probably a bit of patience here. Probably three, four days, maybe a week, maybe sooner, maybe longer. It's hard to put a time on things like this. But this isn't looking like a death sentence. It's just saying, hey, you know, be a bit patient here. Uh, down below in the MACD, the MACD uh, seems to be losing a little bit of momentum here on the histogram. But the, uh, the moving averages are still angled pretty aggressively to the upside. So, 
overall a nothing burger. If anything, I'd probably put about a half point on the board for the Bulls, being that uh, the moving averages are still angled to the upside and that this island of uh, positive momentum on the histogram is engulfing the last previous island here. So overall, things are looking okay there. Um, yeah, my, my conditions are, are going to be, you know, closing above this horizontal here and then getting above this liquid zone ultimately. And that's what I think we'll see the moon for Cardia Chain. Now, if Cardia Chain uh, comes down, starts closing below this purple box zone, coming in at the not point not uh, two nine cent mark there, then likely a test of the 10 or the 21. And I can see that the 10 and 21 are coming into confluence with this horizontal here, coming in at not point not two six cents. If for whatever reason, Cardia Chain starts closing daily candle bodies below that horizontal and below that 21, then it's likely going to work its way down to this liquid zone here that has a top side coming in at not point not one six cents and a bottom side coming in at not point not one four cents. I do view this as the, as the least probable scenario. I would just put that on the board as a possibility. But if Cardia Chain was to take a turn to the downside, those would be areas that I'd be watching and they'd like be opportunities depending on the sentiment of the rest of the market if and when that happens we are looking at a daily chart so daily charts typically take a little bit of time to play out it could be one week two weeks even three weeks at time but things are moving pretty quickly to the upside and uh, typically when money begins to rotate through the alt sector you know coins like cardia chain eventually catch a bid and they can catch a very nice bid at that point in time anyways you guys that is my analysis on cardia chain and its current state of affairs thank you so much for coming by and checking out this video i look forward to seeing you in the next one and until then have yourselves a powerful day